Oh look, it must be Freedom Planet time again. Because it turns out the game isn't coming out until June 30th, so time to boot this up again and satiate myself. Satiate, oh my gosh, why don't I know how to pronounce that word? I'm supposed to be a writer. Okay, so we got Relic Maze with Mila the Hound. If you've seen my uh, playthrough as Carol in this area, I'm not sure what else I can add to that. Aside from highlighting the differences between Carol and Mila, of course. Mila, of course, plays a bit differently. She has a bit of an easier time taking out enemies like that because she has ranged attacks. But she has a bit of a harder time with uh, small enemies like that. Or maybe I'm just kind of unskilled in that area. Yeah, that seemed to work okay. A shame you can't pick up these pots. They're just uh, background uh, objects. That's one unique thing about her. She can actually pick up uh, a lot of the uh, power-ups scattered throughout the level. Except for those. Maybe they're so old and ancient they just shatter if she touched them. I do enjoy her ability to float around, and I use that to try to explore as much of the level as possible. Again, Mila has uh, an easier time with a lot of the enemies in the stage, like those accursed drilling machines. However, she has about the same trouble uh, Carol does in trying to uh, get up there and get the one-up. Her wall-busting attack is block-throwing, because the blocks kind of explode when they hit something. saw the reflective properties of her shield there. There are actually a good handful of attacks that she cannot block with it, though, so be careful. Like these fireballs, for instance. Shield just plain doesn't work against them. Can't stand on top of the level there, unfortunately. The interesting quirk of the Sakura Shield is that um, every time you uh, collect a certain number of crystals with it, it will drop an extra flower petal for you. Which is kind of redundant because, I mean, once you have the shield, if you get hurt again, you're going to lose the shield. So it's not like uh, the shield can give you constant regeneration. It eventually re reaches the point where its healing aspect stops being beneficial. However, if you have full health and you collect a petal, it becomes a crystal added to your tally instead. So it's useful for going for high crystal scores.
those little heads are still kind of freakish. Give me that back! Stupid enemies, they can steal crystals too. to check, even though I've played this level like a dozen times by now. Ooh, glitchy time! I was actually wondering if maybe I could, uh, end up standing on the cage so I could carry it with me, but no dice. Oh, you can also, uh attack those guys over and over again because they respawn when you go back through the doors. So if you want more crystals, just keep destroying them every time you come back here. Now, Mila does not get to go on the uh, thief train. Or Try as she might, she cannot get to the convoy. Instead, she gets to take another route to the next stage. And this... This little gimmick, oh man, this makes me so nostalgic. I'm not going to explain, I'm just going to let the music do it. So, what's down here? Why the second act, of course. Maybe the same level, but because the characters play so differently, it feels a pretty fresh going through it again as someone else. Have to use slightly different tactics and whatnot. For instance, picking up this invincibility crystal and deciding when and where I want to activate it. I wonder if Mila will have to do things like this in future levels uh, as a means of puzzle solving. I got a little greedy there, lost my shield. Oh well. You kinda have to aim down to hit those things with your little energy burst. Energy spike, rather. If we go back through here, we can 
get a few more crystals and see the route I did not take. I rather like the level transitions like that. The way they divide up the stages uh, makes it so you... It kind of makes it easier to map out each stage in your head. Keeps the layouts from being too overwhelming when you're trying to figure out what, where, what's where. That was... that actually only took two hits! I'm a little surprised at that. Shield can't block those crystal lasers either. Yeah, two hits. That well, it is nice that every character has their strong attacks. Uh, Lilac, pretty much all her attacks are strong, actually, and she's also pretty fast, so she's a great and fun beginner character. Carol and Mila, though, are a bit more technical. Carol's strong attack is her lightning kick, which is fueled by her power meter. And Mila's is her, um, block blast. I, I guess that's what I'll call it. Because I mean she takes a block and uses it to uh, project a forceful blast. Now, there's no way for anyone to get up there so far. There's a fire shield up there, but Lilac cannot ricochet off the walls to get it. Carol can't jump high enough to cling to the wall and climb up there. And Mila, well, her flutter jump only gets her so far. Eat one up, laser snail! Now, I think I'm not supposed to be able to go up and to the right there, but... I don't care what the developers think I should and shouldn't be able to do. I am gonna sequence break! I'll probably be rejoining the rest of that route later anyway. Like, right now. Nothing up there. Ooh, I wonder, can I? Oof. I can do this, I can do this. There we go! You just have to tap the uh, A button really quickly. Looks really weird. I like it. Oh, 
Oop. See that hole in the wall? That means pickaxe danger. And this is it. Time to go on to the next part of the stage. You don't actually have to press up to go in there. You go in automatically when you approach it. This way. This guy really isn't too hard, but he's a nice addition. It's always neat to see little surprises like that in games that developers put extra time and effort into. Now, I wanted to grab that one flower bulb and take it back with me, but the spikes forbade me from doing that. It didn't go as planned. I should have grabbed it first, then pressed the button. Lee Carroll can go up there. Can't leap quite high enough the bulb in my hands. And here we are. The chamber where the Kingdom Stone once was, I think. I really have no idea. All I know is that thing, this thing is big, strong, and extremely unfriendly, and it's in my way. boss so far, right? But then it starts jumping around a lot. Now we could be having problems. Also, I was kind of hoping there was less collision detection on its head there. But we can't all have what we want. I'll take those crystals, thank you. Uh, 
Oh dear, this is getting hairy. Gotta keep moving. Otherwise we could get into situations. So oh, situations. There we go. Hurt more than I would have liked, but I made it. So, Freedom Planet is going to be out June 30th now. Hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. It's going to be a blast.